Hello and welcome back to the final episode of the challenge, which is uh, build a semi-automatic wheat farm, um, sugarcane farm, and melon farm. Right now, we're building the final piece to it, the melon farm. If we do that, we'll have to employ some stone blocks. Not only that, we're running out of material, building materials. Which is something I don't really particularly fancy that much, but... Uh, I think my mouse just had an epileptic attack or something like that, because it's turned around like crazy, like I never saw it do that. Wow, that was unique. But never mind that, let's focus on the task ahead, which is building this thing. I'm seriously, seriously low on materials, by the way, and I'm afraid that I won't be able to make it all, so we're gonna make something unique here. We're actually gonna put cobblestone! Heresy, I know. One might think, and one might agree that it is heresy. And that it is, indeed, the case. But I can't do anything about it. So this is gonna be two blocks high. I want another block in height? Uh, mm, let me think. Where is that crafting table? God damn it! Crafting table! Who told you to go there? Someone pointed out. Uh, definitely needs more torches. Hey, it's growing up to be a nice farm overall. Torches protect from monsters. Monsters are bad. Torches are good. So definitely put more torches when you can. It's all very nice and lit up. My three automated farms. Anyway, uh, I'm right now doing just the decorating part, so for the moment I already won the challenge as long as I connect and plant the seeds. So that's not a problem. Problem is that... I need glass. You know what? Who cares about the glass? There's already the glowstone for it. It compensates for the glass part, right? We're gonna make it look better in the future. For the moment, let's just keep it nice and tidy, I guess. How? Uh, we're gonna put this down. We're gonna make as many as possible of these guys. That meaning 23 total, now have them, um, I don't know. And we're gonna make the stairs out of these guys, the remaining ones. Okay, is that enough? I don't think so, let's make another one. But I must make sure that I also have enough slabs for it, which four should be sufficient for the purpose of it. Please be enough. It's not gonna be enough. It is go just gonna be enough. Oh my god, it's just gonna be enough. <laughs> uh, luck of the noobs. Yep, that's what I'm calling it. Luck of the noobs. Now, we're gonna place these guys all around like this. And just to make sure there is enough light to actually make the things grow, we put that in there. Sure, it's not the most fancy farm in the world, but bear with me. Bear with me. Now, what we're gonna do is basically make the redstone connections for... with the... these... the lever. Because clearly we need those. We have a limited quantity of redstone for the first time ever since I started the challenge, so... Let's get started nice and easy. Um, how should this be already? I forgot. Uh, yeah, like this? Yeah. And then a block over on the top of it. Give me that thing. Doesn't really need to be nice, but never mind. Okay, so we put redstone like this, this and this, and then it actually can connect itself already over here. And the same we do on the other side. Push 
same we do on the other side. Hey there, give me that. Come on. Who cares anymore? Just cover it up so that I don't feel guilty. Ah, uh, I actually have to uncover it up. Ugh! Give me that. Now cover it up before I feel too guilty about what I'm doing. Whatever I am doing. And there we go. So basically this will raise the land and lower it. What this do does is when one pumpkin or melon is grown fully, it will automatically destroy them. They will become blocks which you can pick up or slices in melon's case. So now we're gonna just put these seeds right over here. No, all done. Challenge complete. Four minutes before it's actually, it was actually, literally over. Oh, god damn it! Challenge and hold. <laughs> oh god! Did not expect that in the slightest. But it's not a big deal anyway. It just blasted, it didn't even hurt me in the end. Cleared a bit of the pathway here. Oh, no, 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 bad, bad. It's still to be, to have some space at least. Um, yeah, I guess that will work. Some terraforming and stuff like that. It's not like I'm doing it professionally or whatever doesn't look very nice. I'm actually gonna replace it with cobblestone. But this is just the general idea of what I could do. Not cobblestone, sorry. I'm gonna replace it with... Uh, why put gas here so that I can know actually when the things are grown? Uh, that's one mistake I did do here. But it can be helped. You just have to go inside and check it up for yourself. And see that nothing is really grown aside from two of those guys there and two of those guys there. What about the sugarcane farm? What does that tell? Hello, 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 hello. Try to hit me, you hit me, bloody bastard. I'm trying to be productive here. Thank you. Well, I could already uh, sample how the uh, sugarcane part of the farm works. Then I go there. And gather it up. Sure, with a water flow it could be easier, but I never was able to actually convince the sugarcane to go into the water flow correctly. Thus, I decided to just go with a pathway. Here, the wheat will actually flow down all the way to here, while in this case, I will just have to go in and take whatever I planted. It's as simple as that, really. Very simple, simplistic. Oh no, that's not good. That's something I did also on that part and I need to fix it up right about now. I think. No, I did not. Because I placed it one higher than I did here. So everything's fine. Everything's fine! So yeah, these are my three automated farms. Sugarcane, wheat, melon and pumpkins. So hopefully Purple Kitty will be happy about what I did right now. I do realize that this is the only one of the free farms which is constantly active. It must be for the purpose of these two pistons. Probably can be done also without them have being active some way. Uh, on the top of my head nothing comes to my mind but there should be a way. So thanks for watching and Join me next time with a new challenge. Whatever it's gonna be. Whenever it's gonna be. With whomever it's gonna be. Until then, be well. Me and... Uh, give me ten seconds. To... Oh, Spidersky's still there. He's probably gonna be there like for... Three years or something like that. Episode 700! Spidersky is still there.
So, me, Fuzzy, and Spidersky bro, salute you. Until then, be well. Bye! This was the Loud and Gaming Show. Thanks for watching!